Okay, so today's video for geometry should be fairly short, um, and you do have an assignment to complete today. Um, we're going to go over these theorems that are on page 13 um, that are still part of 1.3, which is the second part of what we talked about in my video on Friday. So this theorem says a line and a point not on that line are contained in one and only one plane. So if we have a line, right, it's got two points, let's call them A and B, right, and you have a point that's not on that line, so a non-collinear point, C. This theorem says that these two things have to be contained in one plane, right? There's only one plane that can contain those two things. So if you think back to our um, expansion postulate, right, so it says, um, right, so a line contains at least two points, which we called A and B. Then if you also think about it, um, since we have three non-collinear points, our plane postulate says that three, three points have to be in the same plane. And our flat plane postulate um, says that the line is also going to be in this plane. So this means that there's exactly one plane that can pass through these, this point and this line. So there's only one plane that can contain these two things. Three, really, if you think about three points. But the line and the point all have to be in just one plane. That's all that means. Right, so it kind of talks through a proof on page 13. Um, I think it's important that you read that proof. Um, that's not what our proofs will look like, but it kind of gives you an idea of the reasoning that we will use to prove things as we continue forward. Okay, so the last two theorems we need to talk about are also on page 13. Um, so the first one is that two intersecting lines are contained in one and only one plane. So again, if we have two lines right, that intersect, um, they have to be in the same plane, and there's only one plane that they can be in. Um, same thing with the second one. Two parallel lines have to be in the same plane, right? You can't have two lines and call them parallel, but they'd be in different planes. So there's exactly one plane that can contain those lines, is what these two theorems basically mean. So, like I said, this is a fairly short video. Um, you need to, as you do the assignment for this section, you need to make sure that you are looking at your notes from Friday and your notes from today. Um, and do your best to remember, I want you to, you have to try them all to get full credit. Um, so try your best. And remember, if there's any that you really specifically need me to go over in Wednesday's video, um, click on the discussion for Wednesday and go ahead and post to those now. Um, please, if you can, do it before Wednesday. Um, that way I can get your video made as soon as possible. All right, so your assignment's page 13, 2 to 16, and 19 to 25. All right, so again, complete that on a sheet of paper. Um, in your notebook, preferably if you got your notebook when you picked up your books today. And go ahead and take a picture and post that in this assignment.